What is up, YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D, your techno dad here. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Zapiti updates, demo trailers, and new themes. We're going to check it out right after the jump. And I am back. And before we begin, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to all my patrons on Patreon. You guys rock. And uh, especially thank you for helping me test all the new Dolby Atmos content that I have been producing myself. So, yes, if you want to become a patron and get all the sneak peeks and help me, you know, um, test out this Dolby Atmos stuff that I'm making and see what's coming down before everybody else does, make sure you click the link in the description and become a patron today. All right, let's get into the news of PD updates. We're talking about demo trailers. What is a demo trailer? When you go to a theater and before the movie, you know, if it's a Dolby Atmos or a DTS theater, it'll have like some like choo -choo -choo, something flying around and it'll kind of do a little demo and be like, you know, DTS, DTSX, Dolby Atmos, or whatever. I'm sure you guys remember the big THX, the audience is listening. One of those type of things. But imagine when you press play on your Zapiti, it plays one of those, and then it goes into the movie. That's the new feature that Zapiti has implemented in the new update. Now, once I got it up and running, I did find out something really cool, which we'll talk about later in the video, because it will put a personal touch to your home theater. So look out for that. But anyway, let's get started. What do you need to update this? First, you need to be in beta mode. You have to like uncheck for skip beta from yes to no, and that's on the new Aurora screen. Or you need to go to tools, uh, go to the bottom where it says set release and then turn beta on for that. I don't really know because mine is already in beta mode and you will need the update 4.28.280. Now, if you do not know if yours is set to beta or can't find that, if you go through the login screen after you've done the update and you see this little thing right here in the bottom left, authview.demo trailers. So if you see that in the bottom left, that means you're good to go to run the new demo trailers feature. All right, so you've got the update and you see that you have access to demo trailers in that little loading screen. The second step is to download some trailers. So I've got links down in the description for the different types of demos uh, that they have available for download. So make sure you go check those out. I went ahead and downloaded a bunch of them and picked out three that I liked. Two are Dolby Atmos. I like the Conductor and the Unfold demo trailer. And the other is DTSX Out of the Box Medium. So the reason I chose these three demo trailers is because they, they all lie within the 30 to 50 second mark. Uh, kind of like a demo trailer that you would see before your main feature in a theater. Some of the other demos are like a minute minute 30 two minutes long somewhere like three minutes long that's i don't i don't want to do that uh the purpose of this is just to have a quick little do 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 dolby atmos da 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 dtsx and then it goes into the movie i don't want to spend too much time watching a demo that i've probably already seen a whole bunch already so that's why i picked those go ahead and pick whichever demos you like for your theater now the next step is to get these demos onto your folder in your hard drive and for this, I just use a network transfer. If you don't know how to network transfer into your PD, I think I made a video about it a long time ago. So I'll link that uh, down in the bottom or with a card up top with all my PD videos. So you can just kind of filter through which ones you need. But anyway, uh, I moved those over to a hard drive and on my hard drive, I made a folder called demo trailers, stuck the three demos in there. And then now we have to point the Zapiti to the right folder for it to find it. So let's jump onto the Zapiti app on the laptop and check out how to do that. All right, so here we are in the Zapiti app on the laptop. And to get into settings, we scroll up here to click the cog button. You can totally do this on your Zapiti as well. You just have to go into the three lines button, which will bring up the overlay menu, scroll all the way left, and then select settings. It's the same thing. Now here you can see all the folders I have added to my Zipiti and they all are the movie designation. We need to scroll down and choose the bottom option, settings, tab, folders, add folder demo trailer. That's the one we need to select. So once that's selected, we need to select demo trailers that I put on the hard drive earlier, which is found on the network and then disk SDA and then demo trailers. 
and we hit OK to add it. And we can see that the settings tab folders add folder demo trailer is set properly. That is all we need to do. And whenever you start a movie, it will pick one of those three demo trailers and play it, right? So it'll play whichever demo trailer at random. Uh, doesn't matter which movie it is. It could be a Dolby Atmos movie. It'll play whatever. Like it could play a DTSX demo in front of a Dolby Atmos movie. It could play a Dolby Atmos demo in front of a DTSX movie. That's just the way it works. Now we can go ahead and attach or link a demo to a specific movie. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, back on the app here on my laptop. And let's uh, jump into uh, John Wick, let's say. All right, here we are in John Wick. I'm going to right click to bring up the menu, select edit. Scroll all the way down to edit media demo trailers. Click the plus button in the upper left here. And now I'm gonna select the trailer. And as you can see, it looks like I can actually add another trailer and then, you know, kind of select an order for the trailers but let's just leave it at one trailer. I'll leave the unfold trailer here. So let's let exit out of here and then move over to John Wick chapter two. Again, it's the same procedure, right click, select edit, scroll down to edit media demo trailers, click the add button and select the conductor demo because I wanna see if it works properly. We're gonna hit okay, and then let's add a DTS X trailer to Harry Potter. So same thing, we get to the movie, right click, edit, scroll down to demo trailers, select the DTS out of the box demo trailer. So now we need to jump onto the Zipidi and see what happens. All right, here we are in the living room and I have fired up the Zipidi. Let's go into John Wick and select the movie. And it looks like we get the unfold demo playing. If I hit info on the Marantz, we can see it is coming in in Dolby Atmos. Now we wait as the Zipidi is supposed to play the movie. So it took about 35 to 45 seconds to play the movie after it plays the demo trailer. So that was a little, I think it's a little long, but you know, hey, this is how it works. This is the first iteration, maybe in the coming updates, they'll get that time to be a little bit shorter. So hopefully that's the case. Uh, but for right now, it's gonna take about half a minute, still less than a minute for it to click over to the movie. Some movies actually did play faster than that around the 20 second, 25 second mark. But some of these longer ones, I was just kind of like, is this thing going to play? <laughs> but it did take a little while and it did play. Now we are going into John Wick Chapter 2, which should play the conductor demo trailer. And here we go. We are getting the correct demo trailer as I set up earlier on the laptop application. So that's working. Uh, let's go check the DTSX demo that I attached to the first Harry Potter film. Here we are and let's select the movie. And voila, we get the out of the box demo trailer as I selected earlier. Hitting info, we do see DTS X. And if we wait for about 30 to 45 seconds, the movie starts playing. All right, so that looks like it's working as it should and as it's intended to work. The only thing I have a problem with is going through and editing all my movies so it has the appropriate demo trailer playing for the type of movie it is, whether it's a DTSX, whether it's Oro 3D or IMAX Enhanced or Dolby Atmos. So it got me thinking, they're just playing a video file before a movie. It doesn't matter which video file. Are you with me on that? So basically, if you wanted to do something to kind of customize or add that personal touch to your home theater, this is where you do it. So if you guys didn't know, I started making Dolby Atmos content. I actually have a video in Dolby Atmos. I mixed it here in the studio, 7.1.4 Dolby Atmos. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link down in the description and to get the download file, since you all have Zipedes, it should all work <laughs> without any issue. It's an MP4 file that is encoded in Dolby Atmos. So you'd have to download it, put on your Zipedi, and then watch it in your home theater, and then check it out. 
Anyway, so I did a little intro of my logo and I had the sound like flying around the room and all this kind of stuff. And then it kind of comes down on top of you and then boom, punches in with the LFE and all that kind of stuff. So I made that and I was just like, I can put that as the video that the Zipidi sees, right? So I went in and I deleted all of the three demos I put in there already. However, I did change my intro. So now at the very end, it has the logos for all four encodings, meaning it says Dolby Atmos, DTSX, Oro 3D, IMAX Enhanced. And the cool part about that is, you know, you can customize it. Like I just did this, just, you know, made this in the middle of the night and I was just like, oh, let me try it. And I tried it the next day and it totally works, right? It'll play my video with Dolby Atmos, right? And at the end, it'll have the logos for all four immersive audio formats. So you could do something custom like that and be like, welcome to the De Silva family home theater. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. This theater is equipped with Dolby Atmos, DTSX, Oro 3D, and IMAX Enhance, or something like that. Well, whatever you want, you can actually have it be like a custom intro. And like, I could probably make you guys something in Atmos, so it'll play in Atmos, and have like all this freaky stuff happening and speakers all around you and it'll you know do all that and um i just got to figure out how much i would charge for something like that but it's totally doable it's totally doable and i know some people in the facebook forums they're actually downloading a high quality trailer of the movie that plays right before the movie like say if it was like alita battle angel they'll get the trailer for alita battle angel and they'll toss it into the folder and then link it to the movie and then you'll see the trailer and then it goes into it. So that's another thing you can do with this. But I think having like this is really cool because you can customize your theater experience to however you like it. If you guys are a huge like Star Wars fans, you can have this like Star Wars video, you know, of like your favorite like clips like do 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 do. Welcome to the Smiths family home theater or whatever your last name is so yeah i think this is the coolest part about the update in the fact that it is super customizable i mean you can get somebody on fiverr you know pay them like 20 bucks to make like a little montage of like your favorite movie and then have that as your you know intro for every movie in your home theater very cool all right so the next thing it's not necessarily included but it's part of the update and that is uh new themes for your zapiti and it's a theme pack, which you'll actually have to purchase uh, from the Zipidi store. So there's a link down in the description. So I actually went through the process of buying them. When you do go to buy them, you do have to enter your email address in a, in a different field, which is attached to your collection, the whatever you have logged in uh, your Zipidi with. Make sure you use that email and put it there. And then once you purchase it, it takes 24 to 72 hours for them to send that over to your account and verify everything. And once that's done, it's just like picking any other theme. So you're gonna go into settings and go down on the left one, go in and select the current theme, and then you get the list of all the new themes on the left. And I'm just gonna cycle through uh, so you guys see what's there and if it's worth the like $20 for you to get the new themes. And once again, you can do this directly on the Zipidi, or if you wanted to, you can do this on the Zipidi app. It works there as well. So I actually like this new cinema theme. So this is the one I'll be using until I decide to change my mind or whatever. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. These are the two new big features for the Zipidi update. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that cool stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.